Welcome back to St. Louis 11 News at 7. The state of Missouri continues to experience a child care crisis, but the governor-elect says he will make finding a solution a priority. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains how the lack of providers and cost is impacting the state's economy. According to Missouri's business community, the state is losing out on more than a billion dollars a year due to the lack of child care. Of Missouri's 114 counties, 94 of them are in a child care desert, causing employees to leave voluntarily to take care of their kids. Over the summer, Governor Mike Parson said it's a problem the next governor will have to deal with. Daycare for the future of this state, uh, I won't be here next year, but these legislators will, has to be a priority of the state of Missouri. Over the course of two years, the state lost 1,100 providers, leaving some counties without a facility. We know that as a state, we lose out on over $1.35 billion annually because of child care shortages. For the second year in a row, the General Assembly did not approve tax credits to help the child care industry, many blaming it on the infighting in the Senate. But Governor-elect Mike Kehoe says it's important to him to expand access to affordable child care. I tell people it's a personal issue to me. My mother is a single mother, and I can tell you firsthand what it means when a mom has to decide whether to stay at home and, and not make enough money to buy groceries or go to the store and leave her child at home. The Missouri Chamber of Commerce says it will be the organization's top priority in the upcoming legislative session. Other states are trying to tackle this, and it's important if we want to keep families in Missouri, we want to keep businesses in Missouri, we have to comprehensively address our child care crisis. The state's education department also putting the issue top of mind. We've got to find affordable, high quality opportunities for that population of kids, not only, not only for the benefit of the kids because we know what happens in a high quality program, but for the families, for those communities. Back in August, voters rejected a constitutional amendment to exempt child care facilities from paying property taxes. The legislative session starts in January. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.